Yeah, friends, welcome to this session of uh, SFTC security model. We are going to learn how the security model works with respect to object level security in this using profiles and permission sets. So let's get uh, started. So basically, uh, you will learn at the end of the session what is the system level user administration when you create a user. Uh, what are the profiles that you need to add? What is the function of a profile? And basically, what is object level, record level, and field level security? The main difference between what is an object and record level security. Okay, so we will look at all of that in this module. So basically, please understand this section here in Salesforce. The security is at two levels. One is at the object level. When I said object, what does it mean? It talks about the standard or the custom object. Standard objects which are out of the box, custom objects which you have created. So profiles control what kind of level of access you have. Basically, what kind of CRUD access you have. Profiles and permission sets. Whereas records that you create within an object are controlled by OWD and role hierarchy. And then uh, there are some sharing rules. In addition to these two, there are some app level and organization level security settings, which we will see later. But the main topic we are going to cover here is how does profile control object level access. So let us look at what it, uh, this means. This is a typical account table, which has account ID name. Now, first of all, what will a profile do is, is as a user, can you even access this object as what? Profile controls the CRUD permission, like in Oracle or anything. What is a CRUD permission? Create, read, update, delete. So can the user have create, read, update, delete permissions on that objects? Then only he will have access to that object. So this is how as a system admin, and this profile is assigned to a user. A user can contain only one profile, okay? So what are profiles? Basically profiles control what objects you can access, what page layouts. If you remember page layouts, we created page layouts, what you can access. Then also at the field level, remember when we created a new field, it was asking whether we should give to which default field uh, correct uh, access. Then you are giving system admin, same way. Which tabs, record types. If you remember record types, we had created record types and uh, mapped it to page layouts. So even that access is needs to needs to be given to a profile. What is the Apex class and Visual Force pages? In addition to this, if you have any development objects, even that is con access to that is controlled by profiles. A permission set permission sets is also similar to a profile, uh, but it is a only thing is uh, permission sets can be uh, given to multiple user. And if you want to extend the user's access without creating a profile, now suppose you're into a project and you have assigned some major profiles to all the department users. Now suppose different departments start off with and you need to give a new set of permission sets. Then in that prof uh, access rights without, uh, uh, you know, conflicting with the existing profile. So then in that case, you will not go ahead and create new profiles, change the user profiles because the profile contains, controls a lot of things, right? So you will create permission sets to control the objects and you'll assign it to users. So by default, uh, Salesforce ships with the default system admin profile, which is there for all of you. You will create new profile by cloning the system admin profile and reducing the access as system admin has all access. So you'll have to basically uh, roll down the access there. Uh, another important feature is, you know, at the object level for a profile, you should not give view all, modify all, because view all and modify all will uh, not follow the sharing uh, rules of an organization which you set using a uh, record level sharing will not be followed. So you need to be aware of that. You can ensure that new profiles are only edit read only. Also you should uh, uh, and, and, uh, make sure that the new profiles that you create should have edit read only fields permission disabled because then in that case, even if you set some fields uh, read only at the UI level and all, uh, still the user will be able to access. So these are some key points you need to know. So now let us go about creating a profile and see how it works. <coughs> 